Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be having a look at the Rock Manual Espresso Machine. Before we get it out of the box, a couple of things. I want to do a massive shout out to Jasmine and Phil from Hatch Luncheonette in Darlington for lending me the machine. I owe you one guys. If you get a chance and you're in Darlington, go and check them out doing some awesome food and obviously delicious coffee so go and check them out thanks for lending me this brewer um, secondly espresso for me is one of those things that I don't really make at home I never owned an espresso machine and I would rather go out to a cafe and pay my two pound for an espresso and not deal with any of the mess so I've never really wanted to do espresso at home but I've kept an open mind and I've never brewed with this brewer before so let's get it out of the box so we're out of the box um, what you get is you get something which looks like a well-engineered piece of metal when I first got it out, it sort of reminded me of a, a big corkscrew, so like a big wine bottle opener. Um, but one thing that did worry me about this machine was, was the thermal management. Was This is cold. This machine is freezing cold. Um, obviously, if you keep it in your house, it's going to be a little bit warmer, room temperature, but it's going to take some time to warm up. To be honest, it's a really well put together piece of metal. Um, you get a nice little porta filter, you get a little clip which you can pop on and if you wanted to split your shot you could do that but for this um, video I'm just going to use it without to get a double espresso. You get a milk frother I think it probably works a similar way that the cafetiere method does. Um, if you want, you can watch a video on how to froth milk with a cafetiere in my um, in the mocha pot video. Um, you get some seals, and then you get a scoop, which doubles as a tamp, and then you get a set of instructions, which I have read. First things first, as with all coffee brewing, you're going to want to weigh out your ingredients. You're going to want a recipe. So I am looking for 16 grams of coffee in to, I'm going to push the shot a little bit further. So I'm going to go up for around about 40 grams out. Um, but first of all, the first thing I need to do with this brewer is I need to get some hot water in it to get it warmed up. So I'm going to boil the kettle, I'm going to get some water in the chamber at the top and just start that warming in process. So first thing you want to do is you just want to fill the chamber up right to the top and I would probably recommend getting this kettle back on boil. Right, so the unfortunate thing about, about this brewer is you need to warm everything up so you're going to need to warm the the porter filter through as well so you can't really get any prep organized until you are actually warmed up let's put our water through and for good measure i'm going to do i'm going to repeat that process i'm going to warm the kettle up again, I'm going to pour the water in and hopefully get this big bit of metal warmed up. Right, so second round in with the kettle. You probably want to leave it for a good minute to try and get some of that heat into the machine itself. So we haven't brewed anything yet and we're already looking at a, a couple of minutes before we've even sort of weighed our shot out and, and started our process of, of getting the, the shot ready. 
another minute's gone. Let's get rid of some of this water. Right, so let's start the weighing out process. Give your port of filter a bit of a of a dry, dry off. Um, we want to weigh out 16 grams of coffee. You want to go for an espresso grind, so reasonably fine. Clip on your little spout because it's difficult to sort of weigh out without taking the basket out. I'm using our our new daybreak blend because um, it's an espresso blend and it's been developed quite a while in the roaster so hopefully that development will give me a little bit more of a head start on getting a good result out of this um, brewer. So 16 grams, take your spout off and then you just want to prep your puck just how you would normally prep your puck when you were making espresso. You want to give it a good even tamp which is quite difficult with this little plastic tamper and it's not quite the right size for the porta filter so it leaves quite a lot of grounds up the side so one thing I would be doing if I was going to be brewing with this brewer a lot is I would be investing in a tamp that fit this porta filter um, and then we can get started really so you want to lock your porta filter in to make sure you lock that in as tight as possible so water just doesn't gush all over and out of the sides of the porta filter and then we're going to boil the kettle for a third time and go in with our water. Right, what I found was the best way is to pour as much water into the chamber at the top as possible and weigh your shot out. There's plenty of room under here to put a set of scales. You want to put as much water in as possible and then as you are extracting or putting the pressure on, you want to stop when you reach your desired weight and then we can get rid of the the excess water later so i'm going to go in with off the boil water straight in to the top i'm going to set my scales going and i've gone 16 in i want to push that extraction a little bit so i'm going to go to 40 40 grams out and then you lift up the levers, which starts off a, a pre-infusion, so that's, that's pretty good. So the puck will be getting slightly saturated now. Um, and then give that a couple of seconds and then you want to start the extraction. So And we have coffee. It is pretty tough. I'm at 40. And as you can see, it's a bit of a mess. We'll get rid of the rest of the of the water from the brewer. Got a slight crema on the top. Um, it's got some temperature to it, but it's not as it's not as warm as what I would want it to be. Um, a slight under extraction and, and all I can think is that is that's the that's the temperature I mean I felt like I was giving it a huge amount of pressure when I was pressing it down but there's no way to gauge how much pressure you're actually giving the coffee um, because the the blend that I'm using has been developed for espresso in the roaster um, it's not hugely acidic but I can imagine if I was brewing with a with a lighter style coffee, you would get 
just too much acidity which would which would come across as, as sourness which is not really pleasant and um, I mean it's it's drinkable it's okay but for the work it's not something I would be willing to do on a daily basis I just not sure it would fit into someone's busy lifestyle. Um, definitely if you're into espresso and you want to try something new, the price point's pretty good. I think it's about £150, but then obviously you've got to think you've got to, got to get a decent grinder that can grind espresso, so you're starting to, to creep up. But for the amount of effort and the mess the espresso doesn't really stand up. But I'm interested, I'm interested, do you own a rock espresso, a manual espresso machine? Do you have any tips for me to maybe get a better espresso out of it? Um, I know there is a, a, new, a newer version or maybe a modified version which can helps with the, the temperature control. Um, maybe I should get one of them and try them. And that's it, the Rock Manual Espresso Machine. As always, thanks for watching. Stay focused and drink delicious coffee.